This application is for a basement. Our first step is we're going to measure out if you have the room 16 feet, 2 by 4, and we're going to bolt it to these cross members here. This can also be done in a finished basement or a finished garage. You just got to find out where those cross members are. Step two is I want to cut some smaller 2 by 4s that run vertically here. Now the distance, how far it goes down is based on what size tarp you have and how, uh, how high your ceiling is. So right here we're going to be putting in a, a 7 foot tarp. So I need it to come down to probably 6 feet which is right here. About every 4, four feet, 4 to 5 feet, I'm going to put these vertical 2 by 4s and I'm going to screw those into our, our first 2 by 4 that's uh, screwed into the ceiling. You also want to have it about this far away from any windows or doors. We're going to run another uh, 2 by 4 across on the bottom. That'll give it some stability. And then I'm going to measure up, like I said, I got a 7 foot tarp. So I'm going to measure from the ground up to 7 feet. And I'm going to put my 2 by 4 or whatever piece of wood is right in the center there so I got a little bit of play. Now this boxes everything in. So once you get this scenario done, you're ready to mount your tarp. All you need is a screw and a washer and a drill. You can see they got these grommets here at the top of the tarp. I've measured off 7 feet. The first one, it's much easier if you pre-drill the hole, then it goes in real quick. But uh, that's why we need our washer so it doesn't go through the, the grommet. So all I do is line it up in the hole here. Let's say you ran out of wood, like I did right here, but I want to finish it. Okay, you got to use a little MacGyver action and come up with a solution. So my solution here is this to run some extra rope that I have. I put a screw up here and I'm just going to pull it tight and wrap it around this screw. And then secure it. So that's about it. You want to make sure that the, the bottom part is flush with the ground. If you don't have 16 foot wide, you can always fold this behind. And the last thing is, you can get a wood dowel like this or a, a few metal pipes to just put in there and that'll make sure that the, the bottom stays weighted to the ground and helps from the swinging if there is a gap between the front and the back wall.